these are some hair products that I ordered we'll do this together so I know you guys like watching unboxing videos so I'm gonna give you what you want pronounce it I'm pronouncing it the French way but yeah I ordered um, miel pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner I've never actually used this before and I normally get uh, I normally use TGIN as my leave-in conditioner but I've run out recently and also when I was trying to order it on Amazon it was really really expensive this was a bit well, not a bit much, much cheaper. I think I must have paid $13 for this, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, so I'm excited about trying this. I've never used this product before. Um, and it says here, moisturizing curl primer and detangler for thick curly type four hair. Hmm. My hair is not type four, but I guess it should still work on my hair. My hair is type three. Um, yeah. All right, the next product that I got. Oh, that's a big, whoa. <laughs> oh my God. That is a huge, that is a huge jar of gel. I guess this is gonna last me a whole year now. Okay, so I got Echo Styler olive oil. Now I've used Echo Styler olive oil before, but I think previously i've used i have i haven't used a max hold this one is a max hold i'm really really excited to try this on my hair i haven't used this particular one before like the max hold one before hey guys welcome back to another youtube video my name is Aurelie, and i am so so excited about today's video today is wash day so i'm going to be showing you my wash day routine and it's going to be so detailed it's going to be so good and this is a kind of video that i wish i had when i was you know a little girl i didn't really know how to take care of my hair and i wish i had something like that back then so um yeah i'm going to show you my wash day routine what i do from start to end we're gonna wash we're going to detangle we're gonna condition and then we're gonna style i'm gonna show you everything and explain everything and show you how i do things also gonna show you the products that i use as well none of these products are sponsored by the way these are products that i actually use on my hair and have been using some products are new that i'm trying them for the first time but for most part you know those are products that i've used a lot most of the time i have my hair in a bun unless my hair is really curly and then i have it in a pineapple but yeah my hair has been in a bun and this is the hair currently okay and i'm going to show you how tangled it is it's not too bad but oh it's starting to tangle up a little bit but for the most part it's not too bad so that's my hair it's pretty long and by the way i have type 3 c hair which can be really really curly if i use the right products if i use you know a styler and stuff it gets really really curly really good curl definition but at the moment i don't actually have products in my hair which is why there's no curl definition at the moment and that's that's the hair i use these as my shampoo so this one is head and shoulder sometimes i use this as well this one here is a medicated shampoo so my hair um tend to get a lot of dandruff i have very, very like sensitive scalp and it gets really really itchy sometimes so i use yeah shampoo like head and shoulders or a medicated shampoo on my hair this here is my conditioner this is shea moisture coconut oil coconut oil scented I guess and yeah look at this bottle it's big one liter one liter bottle this is gonna last me a while and I use quite a lot of this product to detangle my hair so 
Okay guys, so for this part of the video, we are going to do a voiceover. So first of all, I like to saturate my hair with water. Completely, completely drench my hair with warm water before I add in the shampoo. Then I lather in my shampoo and I spread the shampoo all over my scalp and I massage my scalp really really well then i rinse off all the shampoo and i make sure all the shampoo is completely completely gone after that it's time to detangle i use a lot of conditioner i use a general amount because my hair needs this lubrication from the conditioner without that you know it's going to make detangling the hair harder so i spread the product everywhere in my hair and I use my finger to spread the product and then I start separating my hair. This is how I detangle. I separate my hair and I start at the front and work my way to the back of my head and this removes the large knots. Once I'm happy with that the large knots are gone, I start detangling my hair, still using my fingers, but I detangle the ends and then I rake my fingers through my hair to further detangle. The more I do that, the more I find that it removes all the knots and I'm also very, very gentle with my hair. I don't rip through any knots or anything. I am super, super gentle with my hair. Once I'm happy that there's no more knots in my hair, that's when I use a wide tooth comb and I start detangling my hair with that. If I find any knots while I'm detangling my hair with a comb, I don't, you know, rip through the knots or anything. I go back and use my fingers again to separate the knots. And when I'm satisfied that, you know, there's no knots and my hair has been thoroughly detangled, then I rinse the conditioner off as well. Here's another really important thing as well when you wash your hair. See this towel here? This is just a regular towel. This is really rough. You don't want to use this to dry your hair with this because it's going to cause a lot of friction on your hair and you're going to get a lot of frizz, but you're going to get a lot of breakage as well. So what you really want to do, you want to get yourself a microfiber towel. Now this one, I got this such a long time ago. I've owned this for over, I would say well over five years now and it's still, it's such good quality. This has been a really good investment. Where is this from? I'm looking for the tag, but I believe this is from Deva Curls. Deva Curls. This is a microfiber towel that has been designed for hair and this is what you want to use to dry your hair there's something about the texture that really like smooths your hair it's it's magic it's amazing it's not magic science but yeah there's something about it that i don't know it smooths your hair down and it prevents freeze so this is what you want to do a microfiber towel if you don't have one use a cotton t-shirt something that's really smooth but don't use this don't use a regular towel and then you put it in here but what i like to do is to kind of secure it more I use this a bit like that and i kind of just leave it for maybe five minutes or so um, just so it absorbs the excess moisture from my hair, but I don't want my hair completely dry. So to style my hair, I want my hair kind of damp, if that makes sense. All right, so now it's time to style the hair. So the first thing we're going to do is apply a leave-in conditioner. And I'm really excited to try out this product here. I've never ever used this before. I've heard about this product before a very long time ago. I just never thought to try it. Um, but recently, I couldn't find my regular leave-in that I normally use, TGI, and I, I just couldn't find it on Amazon. And I saw this, and I'm like, hang on, I recognize this. I've seen this before. And this says here, this is for curly type for hair, 
So it says leave-in conditioner, moisturizing and curl, uh, moisturizing curl primer and detangler for thick, curly type 4 hair. So if this works on type 4 hair, this should definitely work on my hair. So I'm really excited to try. Let me see. Oh my gosh. This smells so, 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 so good. This smells really good. All right, let's do the hair. So this is my hair now after I've washed it. No product and look how well I have detangled my hair, right? I can run my fingers through, no problems, no knots. This is how you want your hair when you come out of a shower after you've detangled it. You don't want knots. I'm having some shedded hair though. So what we're gonna do is we're going to separate the, the hair into two parts. If you don't have those, get yourself those. Get yourself two or four. Those, you need those. If you're a natural hair girly, you need those, okay? You need those. All right, so let's see how this product goes. So I've put three pumps. I've never used this before, so obviously I don't really know how much to put on. I'm gonna start with three pumps. Okay, so I'm noticing that my hair is quite dry. So I'm gonna add some more moisture. So don't be scared to add more water if your hair is drying out. Especially you wanna add it on the ends. It's mostly the ends that are dry. The length is fine. My roots, my roots are fine, it's the ends. All right, so let's see. That's better. This product is really light. I don't even feel it in my hair. Oh, don't know if I need to add some more. I've added two more pumps. So I use my fingers to kind of like distribute the product in my hair like this. I use my fingers as though it's like a comb and I'm just doing this. And I'm also going to comb my hair as well. This product definitely feels really different. Like it doesn't feel like there's product in my hair. But at the same time, I know it's there because it's, my hair is moved, but I can't feel the product itself. If that makes sense it's really different it's a really different feel so yeah i'm gonna comb the product through so notice as well how i apply the product to my ends and my my like the length of my hair but i don't put the product directly on my scalp um so yeah i don't want product building up on my scalp if that makes sense So now that I've applied the leave-in conditioner, I like to put a shower cap on. And I do that because it helps a product kind of get absorbed in my hair, as opposed to just be sitting at the surface, like on top of my hair, it might make sense. Uh, and I do that because when I go and do the next step, the two products, I don't really want the two products to be kind of mixing together, um, if that makes sense. So this way, I feel like the product maybe absorb into my hair strands a bit better and yeah and I don't know if that really works to be honest it's just something that I've done for years 
and during this time i can just go and get ready like put clothes on and then i'll come back and finish doing my hair that's just a habit that i've had for a very long time so this step is optional if you want to do it you do it if you don't want to just just skip that step all right so now it is time to style the hair with echo styler so I've used Echo Styler before, but I've used, I haven't used a max hold before. I've used, um, I think a medium hold or something like that. Like definitely haven't used this one before. Like the bottle, like the, the jar looks different. And yeah, so I'm excited to see how this goes. Look at this bottle. It's huge. Like, can you imagine dropping that on the ground and like losing <laughs> so much product this is how much is that 946 mils that's almost a liter that is huge mm. it smells it smells mild that's what i like about it i have echo styler coconut as well and i don't like it because it's i don't like the smell this one i really like the smell so I'm going to separate my hair into little sections. And that's why, that's why you need this. These are so handy. And let's apply the product. Okay, so the technique that I use to do my hair when I apply the product is I rake my fingers through like a comb and I do that quite a lot. Apply it on the ends as well. But see how I'm doing that repetitive, repetitively? So you wanna do that a lot. And you don't wanna put the product, like the gel directly on your scalp, but you definitely need to put product close to your roots, if that makes sense. So I'm finding that I need to use quite a lot of um, gel this time. I don't know whether that's because of the leave-in conditioner or whatnot, but yeah, I'm finding yeah, I'm using more than usual to get the same results um, so yeah I comb the product through my fingers if that makes sense and the reason why you want to do that is um, that helps define the curls so for example see what that does it helps define the curls and then you push it up like this
Look at the curl definition and look at the shine. I absolutely love it. I love it. Look at this. Looks amazing.